Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, child, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, the life-size fabric sculpture dolls you see sitting behind me. I created these dolls myself and as I was sewing them, they would not stop talking to me. And this led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series. So far, I have book one, two, and three. The Jungle Beauty Goddess book series is a juicy, sensuous, provocative, mythological story about human evolution. But that is not what I want to talk to you about today. Today, I am going to give you a pick a card reading about how to change your reality. What you will find in these readings it's really shocking like it was kind of shocking to me anyway thank you so much for watching hello darling if you selected the purple divine feminine butterfly this reading is for you first I'm going to go over your cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about your hand the first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire and Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire's message to you in terms of how to change your reality is she says to be original she represents your third chakra the next card i have for you is from the matter who represents dark energy the creative force of the universe and his message to you is silence is unspeakable power the next card i have for you is from jungle beauty goddess katara and Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara's message to you is health is wealth. She represents the root chakra. And the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobi. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobi's message to you is do what is best for you. So basically, the collective message I have for you is that you should really look at what you have right now and count your blessings because in this very moment in your life, everything that's happening to you, it is a setup for success. So when you think about people who are, who've written like the best book ever, it's it's probably from something that happened to them or a song or a movie it's like you may not see the foundations of wealth in your life right now but everything that's happening to you is happening so that it can allow you to fulfill your soul's calling your soul's contract with this lifetime so what I am feeling about your particular hand is that you need to be present to receive the present of the moment and I know that the name of this uh, pick a card is how to change your reality but what is coming to me is that you can't change your reality without first being present in the moment so the card you have from Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire this says to be original she represents our third eye which has to do with your imagination so a lot of times people try to uh, imitate other people they want to be like somebody else but the more you try to be like somebody else the you're, you're becoming you can't well let me just say this you can't be anybody but yourself no one can be a better you than you but if you're trying to copycat or be like someone else, you are 
diminishing your own power because you would never be as good at as someone else who is being authentic to themselves you're just going to be a watered down version so the first thing about changing your reality is you have to be original you have to be yourself you have to um, tap into what is unique and um, fantastic about you as an individual um, what comes to mind is Dr. Seuss and uh, he's like one of my favorite writers but when you there is an original idea that you have right now but you're probably afraid of it because no one else is doing it and th that is what is because no one else is doing you you think it doesn't have value but the your originality even is what's going to take you to the finish line it's what's going to cause you to stand out so you really need to tap into you know what is unique about you what you before you worry about changing your reality um, be I think it's saying the cards are saying be yourself um, be immersed into your reality be immersed into your imagination be present for your current life the next card I have for you is from the matter and it says silence is un unspeakable power now what this card is saying about changing your reality is don't talk about it be about a child don't tell other people about the book you're going to write just write it in silence whatever it plans you have always keep them to yourself um, I know sometimes people say you know tell other people and they can be a witness now you tell somebody your dream and um, I just I, I personally think that it's best to um, unless you're working with a group of people who have a stake in it or who are um, involved in some way where it's beneficial to them I think you should keep it to yourself but the cards are saying that in order to change your reality you must be quiet don't talk about it be about it do it and also the greatest things that happen to us in our lifetime try to happen in the dark you know what I'm saying when a plant is growing it grows in the dark when you close that oven door and you bake in a cake all the magic happens when the door is closed you know what I'm saying when you put the lid on the pot when nobody's looking that's when the real magic occurs so having a mystique about yourself keeping your dreams to yourself not telling people what your plans are these are all things that are going to work out in your favor so you have the first card from Jungle Beauty Guide so far who represents your imagination and she's asking you to be original so whatever original ideas that you have the next card from Jungle from the matter who is the father of the Jungle Beauty Guide creator of all the universes he is saying keep it to yourself and do it so whatever that original idea is you need to not tell anyone but you need to write you know when everybody goes to bed or you know put that video out without telling anybody or write that song or go back to school and study you know when everybody is asleep but don't talk about it keep it to yourself because it builds momentum and it builds power for you the next card I have for you um, from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara, who represent our root chakra, which is connect our, which is connected to the earth, our earth suit, our dreams, our mission on this planet, our health. Now, what's interesting about this card is when she says health is wealth. In order to change your reality, you one of the things that you really need to do is focus on what you are consuming psychologically spiritually physically like for example um, sometimes you know I know people like to play you know video games or like like my weakness I'm just gonna be honest I I like to consume um, I, I call it I call it garbage TV like the, the housewives and I know that may sound offensive but usually 
the arguments and the fights, I always feel like, man, what could I have done? You know, what could I have learned? But it's, you know, but I'm human and I enjoy it. But if I watch TV all day, then that's a problem. So health is wealth, meaning that watching what what you are consuming, whether it's television, the type of food that you put in your mouth, um, how you spend your day, whether you're thinking about negative, you know, if you have a, a negative narrative can in your head about what happened at work and, and such and such said this and I should have said that. These are all things that are unproductive. So health, the first thing you need to do in order to change your reality is look at your life right now and say, what can I, you know, what can you change right now? Like, what can you, do you need to drink more water? Do you need to, you know, eat less sugar? Like sometimes, <coughs> excuse me, we look for something huge to happen. But the truth is, if we could just wake up every day and meditate, if we could just wake up every day and maybe and take vitamins and say, okay, I'm going to drink one liter of water every day or two and just make it your goal and say, as long as I take my vitamins and I drink my water and eat an apple and meditate, I'm going to be fine today. You, your body, the best way for me to say this is let's say you take a car that is very very old and it has a lot of like the brakes are gone everything in the car is completely you know it doesn't work anymore it's rusted and you go and you put a new battery in the car right the new battery is really going to cause the car to collapse because the new battery even though you have this battery but it's just going to but everything that's rusted, the batter, you know, the brakes aren't working. I don't know a lot about a car, but what I'm saying is you have, let's just say, let me just say this. When people want to change their reality, a lot of times if a person, like say they hit the lottery. I don't know if you've read the stories before, but a lot of times people hit the lottery and then they have a lot of tragic things that happen to them. Um, you know, where either, you know, there's all type of tragedy. Now, what happened is that person received a new battery in her old life. You with me? So if you receive a new battery, you know, you change your reality. All of a sudden, you've gone from barely being able to pay your bills, your, you know, to not being able to, to have a negative balance in your bank account to now having $10 million in your bank account, right? That's your battery. And let's just say you still, um, you're maybe in an unhealthy relationship. Or let's just say that you still haven't learned about how to manage money. Or let's just say you, you're, you're, you see where I'm going with this. So health is wealth because without the health and well-being of your mind and your body to be in alignment with the weight of your dreams and what your goals and what you want to accomplish in life when when you receive those things they will actually cause you to have a blowout you would lose them you wouldn't be able to carry them so make sure that you develop healthy habits so that you are able to manage and live in harmony and balance with your goals and dreams the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari and she represents the third chakra which is the chakra where we take action and she says do what is best for you. So in order for you to change your reality, um, one of the things you have to, to focus on is um, doing what is going to be most productive for you so sometimes you know when we think about how to change our do what is best for you you know one of my um heroes that i've said over and over again is harriet tubman now can you imagine harriet tubman you know telling people you know for i'm leaving like I, this this whole you know system here this thing is it just isn't working for me and can you imagine people saying well what you gonna do you gonna get caught you, you're not going to make it, you know, you're going to, you know, you, child, you can imagine the stories, right? So, you know, she had to learn to be quiet, right? She had to learn not to tell other people that she was leaving because one, they would tell, they were afraid to do it themselves. 
And I bet you there was a part of her that was thinking, you know, maybe I should stay here because my mom is here, my brother is here. What if, what if something bad happens to me? That's the thing. You have to do what's best for you. So she had to leave and do what was best for her. When you do what's best for you, you can come back and save other people. As a matter of fact, after she escaped slavery, she was able to come back and save her parents. So you have to save yourself first. You have to do what's best for you. You can't live your life for other people. You can't be afraid to um, pursue your, your dreams and be original, right? So basically, your cards are asking you to, you know, be original, keep your dreams to yourself. Being original just really means don't try to be like anybody else. Don't try to copy anybody else. When you copy other people, you, you tend to never be as good as they are. You just like a watered down version of them. Um, be, be, but when you're being yourself, you have no competition, darling. So be yourself. Um, keep your dreams to yourself, and you know, not just keep it to yourself, but put it into action and be silent about it. And also to um, do what's best for you. And be. Wait, I'm looking for my other card. Let me just. Oh, health is wealth. Health is wealth. Taking care of your mind and your body and your soul. Like don't like you don't want to like I said you don't want to hit the lottery for a million dollars and you're in a re abusive relationship and your life is not where you want it to be and you don't yeah you, know, you get the picture so the present moment is very precious it's where um, your lessons are it's where your inspiration lies you know, if you if you're thinking sometimes when we're talking about changing reality, uh, you know, I really thought this hand these hands were going to say things like you know just pretend you were somebody else. No, but it's saying that the gift of life is the present moment, and if you allow your soul to talk to you and you look around your life the way it is, you will find inspiration to change. You know, to change your life to be all that you ever imagined. So now I'm going to give you the reading from your star alien being, your septarian star alien being, and the message from your from your septarian star alien being is. Let's get it in focus here. You change your reality every day by what you give your attention to. Wake up tomorrow and watch different videos, watch different television shows, watch different movies, talk to different people, and you will have changed your reality. Um, read a book that you've never read before, an article you know nothing about, cook a meal uh, um, and eat foods that you've never heard of. Brush your teeth with the opposite hand. Wear an outfit that you would never wear. Do this for a week and write down how you feel, what you liked and disliked. To have, an ev to have even more fun, think of yourself as having exactly what you want. You could, how would you act, dress or think? Do this for 30 days and you will be surprised at how your reality changes. That was a very light. Thank you. So basically your, your star alien being is telling you that again, like sometimes we're looking, if we want to change our reality, we sometimes forget that every day we continue to do the same things over and over and over again talk to the same people we you know watch our favorite movies go to the same restaurant eat the same food we you know when you become a creature of habit there's is it's difficult for you to change your reality i really hope this reading helps someone thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next 
Video. Hello, darling. If you selected the hot pink and black floral divine feminine butterfly, this reading is for you on how to change your reality. First, I'm going to go over each card and then I'm going to give you my intuition, collective intuition about your hand. The first card I have for you is from Dematter, who is creator of the universe. Acknowledge your shadow self. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kala, I'm sorry, from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara's message to you is ask more questions. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you and how to change your reality is you can't help who you love, but you can help how you allow yourself to be treated. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai's message to you is... If you are waiting to deserve happiness, it will elude you forever. Oh my God, you have such an interesting hand on how to change your reality. So the first card I have for you in terms of your message from Jamata is you need to acknowledge your shadow self. Now, what this means is A lot of times when we are on the journey to our dreams, we're always, we know we're trying to be good. We're trying to please other people, but you know what? We're all liars, we're all cheaters, we're all manipulators. You know, um, we're all good and bad, we're all saints and sinners. But you know, you need to acknowledge your claws, child, your claws and your horns. You need to recognize your scales and your shell because those things about you that are tough and gritty and you know that part of you that doesn't take any stuff off of people, you need that just as much as you need to write that book, as much as you need to go back to school, as much as you need to, you know, sometimes as human beings, we forget about our shadow self because we think, oh no, um, I just, you know, it's okay to be good. I'm not telling you to go do anything crazy. But what I am telling you is that acknowledging your shadow self makes you whole. And trust and believe me when I tell you that if you read a story about any person who has acquired a phenomenal amount of wealth or success, they had to be tough. They had to pull out those claws, child, and those horns, okay? They had to let those... Um, let the, you know, what do you call these? The fangs. You have to get the fangs out, baby. You, have to get, you can't let people run over you. And you have to accept the wholeness of your being. You have to accept that you may have to stand up for yourself. You know, you can't just let somebody give you a contract where you're getting 3% of your, of your profits. You know, um, a lot of times people don't understand that the reason they don't have what they want and they can't change their reality is because they're just honestly they don't have the way the grittiness the toughness to actually handle if things changed so the cars are asking you to acknowledge your shadow self acknowledgement means that you have to accept that that part of you is also there to protect you and that you shouldn't let people run over you and I promise you that you will have to use that part of you. You have to be a shrewd business person. You have to, you know, when a teacher give you a grade that is unacceptable, you have to be willing to write a letter and take it to the dean and complain. You can't just let people run over you. You may have a boss who wants to run over you. You can't take that. You can't take anything off. Listen, child, 
when you talking about changing your reality, you have to have a lot of courage. And that part of you that you've been in denial about, that part of you that you've been suppressing because you just want to, you know, appear to be this perfect angel. I'm telling you, the angel sometimes got to get her fangs and her horn. Okay? Her horns and her claws, child. So, the next card I have for you, which ties right into your hand here, is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. When she says, you can't help who you love, but you can help how you allow yourself to be treated. Okay? We're going back to your shadow self. The shadow self with the fangs and the claws and the horns. With the shells and the scales. Yeah, that part of you can't let people run over you. You will be able to change your reality when you are able to stand in your current reality and stand up for yourself and demand to be treated differently. Whether it's your job, whether it's at school, whether it's with your family, whatever it is, child, the cards are telling you that to change your reality you must stand up and stand you know stand up for yourself the next card that i have for you is oh my god this is my favorite one of my, it's actually one of my all-time favorite cards it's from jungle beauty goddess cyanide where her message to you is if you are waiting to deserve happiness it will elude you forever you know this ties back into your overall message of that part of you that just wants to be good. Sometimes we don't feel that we are worthy enough to receive, you know, what we really want out of life. Because we feel like, well, you know, I'm not perfect enough. But you know what? You That's what we mean by acknowledging your shadow self, appreciating your, your shadow self. You, you're never going to be worthy enough to have your dream you are born worthy you you don't have to earn it you don't have to say okay if i'm really really good if i'm really good then good things will happen to me and everybody will you know no life doesn't work that way because if that was the case can't you think of uh, several people who really may appear to be not so nice people but they have everything they want right like life doesn't work that way you don't have to deserve what you want you have to be strong to demand to carry to allow to accept to resonate attract what it is that you want it's, it's, it's like no you don't you know if you meditate all day and you know go to church you know 10 days a week that's not going to make you worthy for your dream so if you're waiting to deserve happiness if you're waiting to just do one more good thing or you know to clean up your life and um yeah it's 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 got, your dream changing your reality will elude you forever you are already worthy you already you were born worthy that gift inside of you that you came to share with this world child that gift is for you you that's why it's called a gift because you don't have to deserve it okay it's just it's who you are it's your purpose it's why you're here so stop waiting stop thinking oh if i just can you know be you know a better person maybe if i just pray more meditate more maybe i need to cleanse my spirit no 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 if you're waiting to deserve happiness it would elude you forever you deserve it right now i'm if you're looking for confirmation i'm telling you right now you deserve happiness no matter what you've done no matter what has happened to you you deserve happiness right now. Why? Because you came to planet Earth. Because you were born. It's your innate right. Ex accept all of yourself. The reason you're having difficulty changing your reality is because you're having difficulty standing up for yourself and living in this moment and just being completely um, taking accountability for everything in your life and just saying you know what no I'm not gonna take this off of you I'm not gonna take that off of you this is who I am deal with it or get out of here don't let you know you gotta before you can find other people to accept you your claws and all you have to first accept yourself you have to first love yourself just the way you are you know and then the, cause, because people are literally treating you the way you allow them to and what you 
and you are getting what somehow in your consciousness you feel you deserve. And to ask more questions, I love this card from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara. Her message to you is to ask more questions. So she represents our throat chakra and she wants you to start doing research and looking and asking yourself to get honest about your emotions. This is about communication. It's about truth and finding the truth, right? So when you look at yourself and you look at, at your life, you ask yourself things like, well, do I really deserve this grade? Do I deserve this job making this amount? Do I deserve to be in this relationship where I don't feel that my needs are being met? Um, the universe is asking you to, you know, do research. Look, look at yourself. Look at your life, and um, start, and just start saying, hmm. What would my life be like if I doubt my loser, my loser boyfriend, right? What would my life be like if I just decided to get my resume out and just start looking for a better job? What would my life be like if I just literally started writing my book or started working on my channel? What if I substituted the time that I actually spend playing, you know, my, you know, these reality games? Um, what is it, Warcraft or something? What if I spent that time actually doing something that really mattered to me? So ask, ask, get honest with yourself. Ask yourself the tough questions and be ready to hear what your soul actually wants you to hear. So now I'm going to go over your message from your skull, your fuchsite skull being. For you and give you their message to you give in to the moment you want to focus, darling. give in to the moment moment and let it be what it is hold your heart and ask it what do you need to be happy the answer will come to you in unexpected ways what can you do now to love yourself more do you need a pedicure? Do you need more sleep? Do you need less sugar? People focus on the big things in life without realizing that making small changes every day, doing something that they love, will make them feel better and will change their vibration and ultimately change their life. Here is an assignment for you. List 50 things that you love about your life right now. No matter how small, can you see, can you hear? Can you walk? Don't take anything for granted. Come up with 50 things. Now every day, each morning, or every night, for the next 40 nights, go over your list with enthusiasm, with great gratitude. Like, thank you. Like, whatever you feel comfortable saying. You know, being grateful for your eyes or your hair, or being able to walk, able to talk, able to taste. Your, <coughs> your family. Be extremely grateful for everything. Do this for 40 days and this will change your vibration. You will see a shift in your reality after doing this. Now while you are in the vibration of gratitude, this is when you want to begin working on your dreams. If you know what you want to do, you want to start working on it as soon as you finish going over your list. If you don't know what you want to do, this is a good time to start contemplating it. Right after you go over your list, you will, because the frequency of your vibration will have changed, this is a good time for you to use the energy, this the frequency where you will be resonating to figure out what it is you want to do and need to do to change your reality. Thank you. So that is the message from your fuchsite skull being. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the lavender 
purple and gold divine feminine butterfly this reading is for you first I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about your hand so the first card I have for you on how to change your reality is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara and Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara's message to you is read as much as you can before asking questions the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby and Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby's message to you is if you can't if you don't change you will become absolute absolute sorry if you don't change you will become obsolete the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby and her message to you is unapologetically be yourself and the last card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chal uh, Kalahari and Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you is unconditional self-love it's the secret to success so basically what I love about your hand is that it is telling you that before you can change your reality you need to figure out what it is that you want to do learn about it and see where you fit into the equation that is the big picture that's my big picture intuition about your hand so you have the card from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara and it says to read as much as you can before asking questions she represents your the throat chakra which has to do with truth and communication with others and well being able to see the truth um, in others and also within yourself and being able to communicate now read as much as you can before asking questions this is what she means let's say you want to write a book well go and you know a lot of times people forget to google they forget to look things up they forget to you know let me read a book about this let me figure out what, if I want to be a doctor in this field how much money do they make and how what are their hours like how you know how long do I have to go to school like whatever it is on your heart that you want to do to ch whatever it is changing our reality is like saying that whatever I have right now this is not exactly the situation I want to be in I want to you know produce be a producer or I want to you know be a rapper or I want to be a ballerina whatever that thing is that you really want to do you have to the, the cards are saying do research like don't ask other people or just think you know do research for yourself and figure out read as much as you can before asking questions so if you want to know what Mars is like before you even can imagine what Mars is like you would have to read about it right before you can imagine or what your reality would be like as a doctor you should read about it you should read about what teachers go what go through you should read about what youtubers go through or whatever this thing is that you are searching for the cars are asking you don't ask other people about it do your own research and find your truth find and see if there's something that you're interested in find, see if this is and if so where do you fit in the equation do you want to be a foot doctor do you want to be an eye doctor do you want to be a nose doctor do you want to be you know so once you do your research now you start looking at yourself figuring out oh I want to talk about this I want to write a book about that so once you figure out what it is you want to do you still need to figure out where you fit in the equation where does your natural personality your natural strengths lie so, and use those things that are good about you that, to fit into this you know this new reality does that make sense so the next card you have which is very interesting is um, unconditional self-love is a secret to success but I want to go over these, some other cards and get back to this one. So you have a card that says, which ties to the other card. If you don't change, you will become obsolete. And this is what we mean. What 
the cards mean when it says read as much as you can before asking questions. So basically, when you read as much as you can before asking questions, you find out you know about the field that you want to go into, right? And if it's a good fit for you. And then if you look at your yourself and you assess your skill set and you say, do I have the personality to really be a good teacher or to be a good salesperson? Do I have the skill set to put myself in these situations? Am I good at working with my hand? If I become this type of doctor, am I okay with working long hours? Do I want to go to school for 10 years to get a doctorate degree and maybe you know I'll be in student loan debt and I not earn enough money to have a decent lifestyle. The cars are asking you to be very practical about changing your reality. One, you want to look into it and see the plethora of options that are available to you, right? And then you have the card that says, if you don't change, you will become obsolete. This card is the action card from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobi, who represents your third chakra. And she said, okay, now that you know what it is you want to do, you know how much they make, you know how much education you need, you know how much time is required, child, do you have it in you to actually pursue this endeavor? Do you have it in you to uh, make this new lifestyle to be a part of your new reality, right? So this is what was interesting about this card about changing the, the um, cards about changing our reality is I really expected them to say things like, oh, why don't you do scripting? Why don't you, you know, spend 10 minutes every day living in your imagination? But no, the cards are just extremely practical. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Oh, we do research. But I thought we were like going to do something fun, like, you know, attract it and manifest it and do some magic. No, the car said, look, child, you need to go figure out what it is, read about it, ask yourself and get real. Do I have a skill set? And if not, am I willing to go to school to get it? Am I willing to read as many books as I can? Am I willing to to put the work in that is required for me to accomplish this particular goal to change my reality? right so if you want this once you figure out what it is that you want now you got to figure out you know how you have to change yourself to be able to fit there's this new out rea new reality you have to fit this new reality so the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobi which I love she says unapologetically be yourself this is like one of my favorite cards you know, um, I know that a lot of people, you know, really f spend so much of their lives trying to please other people, trying to be a good, but you know, we all are a little quirky and we all have good things about us and bad things about us, but to some degree, and this card, this particular message has been a thread in all of the readings for this pick a card is unapologetically being yourself means child you you if, if some people might say you're bossy well that's just who you are so what if you're bossy that's the way God made you and that's probably something where you that you need to do where people will appreciate your take charge persona your take charge personality you know there is a place in this world where you belong where you fit being exactly who you are and that's what people look at you know judge judy i mean i don't really i don't care for the show i don't really like her because i don't really like that i don't like to talk to people like that but the, look there's a place for her you look at people every day and you think i would never be like that but did it stop them from succeeding did it stop them from getting what they want no right so figure out you know who you are and get honest like it was it's hard to just one day accept I like purple hair I, I, that's just who I am I've been trying not to wear purple hair but I realized I love purple hair so where would you wear purple hair will you be able to teach in an affluent school district probably not but I bet you there is a poor rule or 
a very poor urban area, they would love to have a teacher with the purple hair who loved the students. There is a place in this world where you fit, but you have to get real with yourself. And when you are honest with yourself and you accept yourself, you're going to find where you fit in this world and where people are going to adore you. The next card I have for you, which ties right back into the other card for you, is unconditional self-love which is exactly what the theme is of your hand unconditional self-love is the secret to success this is your this is your message unconditional self-love is the secret to success so when you love yourself you know I mean all of your your flaws child you know your your everything the good the bad the ugly the your imperfections your your claws, your horns, your fangs, child. You know what I'm saying? When you're in your good moods, your bad moods, there are things about you that are adorable and there are things about you that it's probably annoying. But you know what? Unconditional. Like, I love myself. I don't need to lose uh, 50 pounds to love myself. I don't need to um, wait until I get my degree to love myself. I don't need to wait until... No, we just... Unconditional self-love is the secret to success, right? So it's not with conditions. It's not with if I have A, B, C, D, and E, then I'm going to respect myself and then I'm going to do, you know, pursue my dreams and then I'm going, no. The more you love yourself, the higher you vibrate, the more you're going to attract things into your life that are just simply amazing, darling. So, um... Just remember the big picture for your hand. Figure out what it is you want. Do some research, child. Then look at your skill set and ask yourself, do, what do I need to do so that I can change? So that I can change? So that I can fit into the new re new reality that I want to live in. If I want to be a doctor, how long do I need to go to school for this job? What do I need to do to fit into this new reality? And when you are on the journey to your dreams to what it is you want to accomplish just remember unconditional self-love is the secret okay that's the secret to getting everything you want and unapologetically unapologetically be yourself not somebody else but you because once you accept yourself then you'll be able to you know figure out where you fit into this world and be able to achieve your highest aspirations so now I am going to give you the message from your star alien being I think this is Q Sarah I'm going to give you your message and, oops, sorry not being present in your body your home your family your friends your current life that life this creates your illusion of reality for this brief moment in your soul's evolution is a big mistake so that your star alien being is saying to you that if you are not present in your body in your home in your family with your friends in your current life that you are creating an illusion of reality that is a mistake because how can you it's like it's like not you know if you don't love where you are you can't appreciate where you're going like the present of life is it's like in the present moment you want to be present in your reality and let reality be the background to your growth, your changes, and your evolution. You can't change what you deny exist. Your current reality is a catalyst that gives your life meaning, that makes you interesting. So many people have the same reality, but they have different outcomes based on their actions. Think of how to win. Think of life as a game where a reality is created. What does the character have to do to win? What are the obstacles this person needs to overcome? What are the 
What are the lessons do they need to learn and grow? What setbacks will they experience to give them greater insight into their problems? This is what life is like for humans. Don't focus on changing your reality. Focus on bending, shaping the current conditions to work in your favor. Use what you have to become more innovative and creative. Create fire using sticks. If you are not immersed into the moment, you wouldn't, you won't notice the sticks that will create fire. Thank you. So that is the message from your star alien being. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the green, the green and pink paisley divine feminine butterfly, this reading is for you on how to change your reality. First, I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about your hand. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib's message to you is Let it go. Some things are not meant to be known. The next message I have for you from Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib, she represents the crown chakra, our relationship with our soul and our God self, our higher self. Is it for your highest good and the highest good of all? The next card I have for you, you're pulling in some strong Namib energy. Crown chakra energy connection to your higher self to your to your soul the next card I have for you is again it's from Jungle Beauty Goddess Anib and her message to you is if it is not going to matter in a million years it doesn't matter today and the last card I have for you in this reading is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara who represents your root chakra and her message to you is your body needs fuel, rest, water, food, and exercise. This, I've never, I don't think I've ever had it because I usually just pull four cards. You have three cards by Jungle Beauty Goddess Amib who represents your crown chakra, your relationship with your higher self. Um, you have three cards from her and all of the cards have, if it's not going to matter in a million years, it doesn't matter today. If it isn't for your, is it for your highest good or the highest good for all? And then let it go. Some things are not meant to be known. I know you are already thinking it. So yeah, you are like already in your head. You're not in your reality. The next card is from your root chakra which is your body needs fuel, rest, water, food, and exercise. These cards are, are saying that you already are not, you're not, in order for you to change your current reality, you first have to live in it, but you're not living in it. You are, your, your consciousness is somewhere else. And what I'm picking up is that you're a person who tend to worry about things that have happened before, things that happened in the past. Like maybe, you know, wondering like, why was my mother like this? Why was my family like this? Why did this happen? Um, but the cars are asking you to let it go because you can't, you can't change your reality when you're living in the past, right? If you're, if you are living in the past, you're not even living in the present child. You are living in the past. So you can't change your future until you let go of your past. That is the message of your cards. You gotta let you gotta get out of the past. 
If it's not going to matter in a million years, it doesn't matter today. So there's something that happened to you that really bothers you. There's something that happened to you, your family, somebody you love. Something happened that you just can't, it, you, you think about a lot. Like even when you go to bed or when you're in the shower, you're just like, you know, why did this happen? And because you're living back there and you're questioning it and you're wondering why it happened, it's, you're, you know, the car, it's like, is it for your highest good and the highest good for all? Like. First of all, you living in the past, is this really for your highest good and the highest good for all? Um, but then also, how can you change the future if you can't let go of the past? Does that make sense? So, um, child, your cards are really saying to you, please. Please, please, please get out of your head. Your body needs fuel, rest, water, food, and exercise. You are living in your in your crown chakra. You're asking questions about the big questions about life. Why did this happen? Um, and you're and because you're immersed there, it's like you have kind of like neglected your earth, your body, your your present situation like you need to be more grounded into what is happening now now the other thing that I'm picking up from your hand is is that I don't know why but you need to prepare for your dreams to come true child like you because you have such a strong emotion uh, imagination and because you are connected to your higher self even if you know you're contemplating like why did this happen why did that happen but because you live in this you live in the world that you've already created for yourself it is going to manifest into your current reality yeah like i i'm you, whatever it is that you really want you're going to manifest it so you're going to get what you want um but the universe is just simply asking you to let go of the things that you don't want the things that you can't change so that you can be present and ready for the things that you really want so it's asking you to ground yourself in your body like like I, I kind of feel like um, the, you're the kind of person where if you just literally just like let go of all of the things that have been bothering you or things that you can't change and just like maybe just focus your energy on you know going for a nice walk um, just relaxing everything you want is just gonna come right to you because you are a person who um, you, you you live in your head your imagination is strong and therefore you are able to vibrate at the frequency of what it is you want does that make sense so anyway you're, let go of the past so that the new energy the new stuff that you want can just come and flow to you it wants to come to you so the universe is asking you to ground yourself to ground yourself so you can get ready for what it is that you truly want so now I want to give you your message from your star alien being oh <clears throat> there's a trained star alien being and it's a very short message prepare for the change you seek by appreciation by appreciating where you are right now prepare for the change you seek by appreciating where you are right now this is the last look around your first apartment before you move to your new home don't forget about what you loved about your current reality because one day you will miss it you will miss your old coffee cup with a chip you will miss the door that barely closed, 
the creaking floors, the faded paint, and even the spider that met you every morning in the bathroom. You pretended not to see, recognize, and carry joy inside of you. I'm sorry. Recognize and carry joy inside of you so you will be happy no matter where you are. Be grateful for this moment. Be grateful for your current experiences. Be grateful for everything and everyone who is in your life. Everything in your life was here for a reason. Let go of the past so you can move into your future. Thank you. So that is the message from your star alien being. Let go of your past so you can move into your future and enjoy where you are because one day you'll miss it. That is so sweet to me. Yeah, I really hope that this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.